how nice it would be if this was real life. That is what we all want anytime anything or anyone threatens our home. However, in today's world, we are not likely to get that. So we have to take our own steps in order to be able to say, House is secure. Hi, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to talk about burglar bars, also known as burglar proofing, which is a very common method of protecting windows and doors. We're going to look at some of the things that people do incorrectly when installing burglar proofing, and we also will be looking at some of the ways to properly use burglar bars in your home. One of the common sites, particularly with older homes, is to see burglar bars installed on the outside or exterior of a window. To you, it may look secure, but to a thief, this is as easy as licking icing off of a cake. One of the principal reasons why this is an insecure method of installing burglar proofing is because the bolts that secure the burglar proofing are on the outside and so exposed and fairly easy for a thief to take off. Burglar bars should be installed on the inside of the windows and ideally set back from the windows about four inches. By installing on the inside of the window, it makes it more difficult for someone to get access to the bar to work on removing it. In addition, the crossbars should not be more than 15 to 20 inches apart. Anything wider than that and someone can slip into your home by going through between the crossbars. When installing burglar bars, you should ensure that it is anchored to the wall at a minimum of six different points. Ideally, it should be at least eight points. This makes it much more difficult for someone to try to remove it from behind the window. So a minimum of six points, preferably at least eight points. An important part of using burglar bars on windows is that you must leave yourself a way to get out of the house in an emergency should you need to and that your and your regular exits are blocked you should always have an escape built in to your burglar bars as is the case here Of course, you must secure the bars <laughs> for normal use and that can easily be done by building padlocks as you see to lock the bar in place. Please don't use long shackle padlocks because then someone can reach through the bar and cut the shackle on the padlock. This is the much better type of padlock to use in such a situation. In building in your emergency exit in your burglar bars, it should be done on the opposite side of the house to where your regular entry and exit routes are. That way, if the regular routes are blocked, you can still get out of the house. Now there's some who may say, why should I install burglar bars if I have or plan to install CCTV or an alarm system. In the case of CCTV, that only helps you after the person has broken into your house and now you're hoping that the CCTV imagery will help the police to identify who has stolen your items. But the important point is your items have already been stolen. In the case of an alarm system, having the burglar bars slows down the attack that the thief may be making on your house. 
It makes it more difficult for the thief to enter, giving your alarm system time to trigger or sound off and hopefully deter the thief before he has entered your home. So that's the advantage of having burglar proofing. Combined with an alarm system and backed up by CCTV gives you a much enhanced protection. Just a few more points on installing burglar proofing. Remember, in, in anchoring the burglar proofing to the wall, try to use three or four inch bolts to anchor the burglar proofing into the wall. For the steel that makes up the burglar proofing, three quarter inch diameter is the minimum that you should use. For the exit gate that you will build into your burglar proofing and lock, make sure that you have the keys somewhere that is close to the exit gate so that in an emergency you can grab them quickly and unlock the gate and get out. If you want to see other security videos, please try one of the videos that is appearing on your screen now.